spring is the big season for seed sowing. And here's a few that I've sown earlier that I thought I'd show you. And I thought I'd share with you the whole thing about pricking out seedlings because I know it's kind of quite a tricky thing. I've got a few different things in here actually. I've got some uh, ruby chard, rainbow chard. This is one called Bright Lights. Um, and I could prick those out, but I'm going to start with these. This is calendula, um, the pot marigold. And the reason I'm going to start with these is you can see they're getting all a bit drawn up towards the light. So they really, really do need uh, pricking out and sorting out. So I'll start with those. And I've got my little tray here and I'm, these are um, old bedding plant tra trays and I'm just recycling them, just giving them a rinse out and reusing them. They're perfect for growing on things like this. And I'm just going to pop a spot more soil in there. I'm using a seed compost. Um, you could use a potting compost, but you might have to just take out some of the bigger lumpier bits and then I'll just smooth it off there and give it a tap just to settle it all. I'm going to take, this is a plant label, but a lot of people you could use a little dibber or you could use a pencil. People use all sorts of things and I'm going to use this just to pull out these little seedlings. Crucial thing to remember about this is probably over a hundred seedlings in here. Now do you really need a hundred calendula plants for your garden? Chances are you probably don't. I need something like a dozen maybe. So I'm just going to pull out the biggest and the best seedlings in this seed tray, the real winners of the wildebeest or calendula pack, if you like. And I'm just gonna dig in with my dibber. And it's quite important to get a good bit of root system, for one thing, and to watch out how you handle the seedlings. You can use the dibber just to sort of like hold them a little bit. Usually you should try and hold them by the seed leaves. This is quite a good little seedling, look at that. Um, so I'm gonna happily pop that into my seed tray and give it a little bit of a firm around. I love calendula, it's one of my favourite plants. Very long flowering, particularly if you deadhead. It's a brilliant attractor for pollinators as well. And you can actually take all the petals off and put them in a salad if you want to, to add a bit of colour, which is quite nice. It makes a really nice cut flower. If you want to just snip a few for the table, then uh, that's great. It's also very forgiving of all sorts of different soils. Right, there we go. So that just needs a little bit of a water. And last job is to do a label. 